So we're here with Norris Marshall, the owner and founder of Blueprint Engines. How are you today, Norris? I'm really good, thank you. So tell us a little bit about the history and how you started this whole company. You know, that history's been talked about a lot, but the short story is uh, 41 years ago, as a 20-year-old kid, uh, I started a machine shop. And I had been working in a machine shop in the uh, back of a parts store. And I quit, started my own company. I remember coming to work wearing bib overalls and lace-up work boots and boring blocks, hot tanking heads, doing valve jobs, those kind of things. Now tell us a little bit about the size of the facility and about how many employees you guys have. So Blueprint today is a 210,000 square foot building. You've been out in the plant, you've seen the CNC equipment, we manufacture a lot of our own parts. We've got uh, 225 employees, I believe. Now Norris, tell us about SEMA Garage and kind of how you guys are working with that. Well, Justin, I would tell you that the SEMA Garage has been such a positive experience for our company. It's one of the reasons I decided to run for the SEMA board. I, I'm really impressed with a lot of things that SEMA does. And the garage has been uh, a very personal experience for us because we've been, been interacting with them for several years now on programs and projects. We sell engines, right? So w we have to make sure that the engines that we sell are either installed legally in vehicles or we create a path so that they can be. We're very interested in doing it the right way. We know that those emission standards and regulations are not going to go away and we want to be compliant and we want to wear a wet hat and do a good job. Norris, we're walking through your guys' new expansion, this beautiful 60,000 square foot warehouse, and we see some you know, regular name brand parts, but also some Blueprint branded stuff. Tell us a little bit about that and why. Justin, here's the deal. When we started, we did like every other small engine manufacturer. We bought branded parts that we could buy through your, your place or buy direct from a manufacturer. We bought our crankshafts from the crankshaft guys that are in the United States, pistons from the piston guys that are in the United States. And that worked out fine. And that's, that's super fine for small volume, but our volumes are high enough that we got to the point where we really wanted our own part. Let's take the crankshaft for example. We'll design the crankshaft. We'll design the counterweights of the crankshaft. We'll design that so that it takes the least amount of work when we balance it. Maybe the crank that we've been buying takes a lot of work to balance, or maybe it takes some heavy metal. So we'll design the features in that we want. So we take our design out into the global marketplace and try to work with tier one automotive manufacturers to make that crank. So we're not just buying somebody's crank off the shelf. You've built 400,000 engines, so you guys certainly have a, a, a lot of knowledge and there's a right way to do this. That's exactly right. Well, we're back in R&D and Norris, there's a lot more under the Blueprint Engine family than just Blueprint Engines. You have a whole nother brand called Origin. Would you tell us about that? Happy to do that, Justin. So Origin Engines began after we had already created Blueprint and we had all these new components to make brand new engines. And we asked ourselves, what other markets can we sell new engines into? And industrial ended up being the answer. So Origin is the brand name that we sell industrial engines for. This is a particular engine is a gasoline industrial engine that'll go into a wood chipper, goes into a brand new piece of equipment that a company is making. It's EPA certified, and uh, whether it's gasoline or natural gas or propane, most of the origin engines are those kind of fuels. We do all the testing here. We've got an emissions bench. We've got the three uh, production dynos. We do durability testing. So we're bringing new engines to markets that are using them in brand new equipment that are being made. Now, Origin is smaller than Blueprint, but Origin uses a lot of technology and the customers are pretty demanding. So Origin has been good for us to grow up and learn some new techniques. Now, I know there's something cool behind us and this thing has kind of broken the internet. This is the infamous four cylinder with an LS head on it. Do you want to tell us about this little sweet number here? So yeah, we took this engine, uh, a version of it to PRI, uh, just on a kind of a fluke to see if there was any interest in a four cylinder engine. The engine was actually developed for origin for the industrial market. This is a generator engine and on a generator it makes 80 kW of electricity. It'll be turbocharged. Uh, that 80 kW will take something like 450 foot pounds of torque and uh, we built this package just for that purpose. It actually uses a head from a Ford Windsor but 
it's really close to an LS bolt pattern. So we were able to put an LS head on it and thought if we ever bring it to the blueprint side and make it available for enthusiasts, we'd put an LS head on it. So this is kind of a boring cast iron intake manifold industrial engine, but we've gotten a lot of interest in it for blueprint, so there's probably a future for it. Uh, man, and I hope there is because I can think of a hundred things that I want to shove this thing in. Now, there is no replacement for displacement, and I couldn't help but notice this massive engine sitting behind us. So can we walk over there and check yep. that thing out? Let's go look at it. Now, Norris, tell me about this behemoth. So, Justin, this is the only engine that we work on that we don't actually make ourselves. This is a diesel engine that we buy out of India. We actually partnered with the Indian company to convert it from diesel to natural gas or gasoline or propane. So this is a V12. It's about 1,500 cubic inches. And again, it's all black, kind of boring looking. It's an origin engine. It's gonna go in a generator or something like that. It's neat that you guys are able to run this off. You know, it's, it's essentially, it's multi-fuel. So the applications of this are, are kind of endless. They are endless. And again, I think the future of engines is spark ignited because all the alternative fuels that people are working on need a spark plug, whether that's hydrogen, propane, synthetic gasoline, synthetic propane, they're, they're not diesels, they're spark ignited. So we're happy that the Origin product is positioned as a spark ignited engine that uses a spark plug and think that we're going to be a big part of the future. So Norris, how many engines do you think you've produced over the life of Blueprint Engines? Well, we actually know. And I remember the first engine stamping serial number 001 into it. Uh, that was a long time ago. And I think we're close to 400,000 today. Now, when you guys hit that 400,000 mark, are you guys gonna kind of celebrate? You know, much to my employee's chagrin, we don't celebrate a lot. We'll pause and go, yay, and then we'll get back to work. With Blueprint being an ever-growing company, do you guys have plans for more expansion? I think so. I think that's always the fun part is to think about Blueprint tomorrow, not Blueprint today. In the future, I think you will see quite a bit of growth. You'll be able to go to a new car dealership and open the hood and find one of our engines in a brand new vehicle in the future. I think that will happen. Now, it won't be a Ford or a Chevy, but it's gonna be a small volume uh, niche market manufacturer of new vehicles. The future is really exciting. There's a lot that we plan on doing. I really appreciate you taking the time, Norris, to give us a company interview and telling us some cool stories. And I can't wait to see what you guys do in the coming years. Thank you very much. It's yep. been great to talk to you, Justin.